Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. God is good. He's so good. And um, I'm on my break, sitting here on my 15-minute break. So I want to start doing this thing like daily encouragement for my brother and sisters in Christ. And I just want to encourage somebody on today. Father, in the name of Jesus. I want to cover anyone who's listened to this video in the blood of Jesus. May they have an ear to hear. And I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus that you have them, let them have an open heart, Father. Let them have an open heart to hear what it is that's saying in this video. Okay. Amen. So, I just want to talk to the person that's struggling right now in their faith. The person that um, is having problems getting the sin out, the sin out of their life. Like I'm in this journey right now. I'm going through this journey that I've been on since I was about 13 years old, and I just want to say that I'm struggling too. You know, I'm struggling too with my faith, and not really struggling with my faith because my faith is 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 rock solid. I'm struggling with actually getting the sin out of my life. But, yeah, we're sinners saved by grace. But at the end of the day, a man didn't come and was beat and battered and bruised for us to just live our life still the same. You get what I'm saying? We owe our lives to Jesus Christ. Because it's hard, as hard as it is now to have salvation and righteousness and, and a ticket to heaven... It was even harder back then before he made that sacrifice. So he made it easier for us to get in because now we have our Holy Spirit, his Holy Spirit that we can have to live on the inside of us to keep us on the narrow path, to keep us straight. So I know a lot of times we condemn ourselves when we fall and we think like, Oh, Jesus would never love me. I, I messed up too bad and, and things like that. But the love of the Father is beyond what we could even imagine. His love is just so great for us to where as though, yeah, we might fall. But we, got, we can make a choice at the end of the day. We all have a choice to make. If you fall, then what you going to do? Is you going to choose to get get back on the bike and ride or you're going to choose to give up and watch everybody else ride the bike and you just sit there and not have any fun because that's how it is like we see other people that's 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 living and they're and and they're calling we see people that's actually living what god called them to do and we feel like it's hopeless for us like we can't get there but we can we have to choose we have to choose every day the bible says a righteous man can fall seven times and get back up so just because you fell doesn't mean that you can't get back up as long as you have breath in your body and life in your body as long as you're still breathing on this earth you have a chance to make it into heaven you have a chance to get yourself right and it's not just to get into heaven. We just want to we just want to live right and do what we need to do because God sacrificed himself for us. We owe him. We owe him our lives. We owe him obedience. If you're obedient to your earthly mother and father, how much more should you be obedient to the one that died for you? To the one that you came from, the one that made you who you are? So I just hope this is encouraging somebody right now because we need him. We need him. We need him. How can we go through this life without him? We wonder why things happen in our lives. We wonder why we, we have ideas. But when we try to go for those ideas or put those ideas together, it doesn't work. Because without God, we are nothing. And if you're having problems in your life right now. And if you feel like everything you do just goes to crap, it's because God chose you. God chose you. The, the devil doesn't come after nobody that's not valuable. 
the devil don't come after and hit you and keep coming at you if God didn't have a plan for you, your life and if, if he didn't choose you. So just be encouraged by that. If you see things happening in your life that's just keep being bad and constantly bad, just just take courage and take heart that those things are happening because your father in heaven chose you to be one of those people who lived live for him. And we just got to answer the call. Somebody is out there waiting on you to answer the call of God on your life so they can be set free. So you can be an example, a light to them that they can get out. They can, they can, um, they don't have to live in sin. They can live, they can get out and don't have to go along with the religion that's in the church. You know, the church is so religious. It's like the church is just like the Pharisees and the Sadducees in the Bible. Where they go by the law. They go by, you know, um, all these customs and laws and stuff like that. But yet they still living in sin. So we got to think about that. When we even even at the churches that we go into, we got to think about who it is that is leading us and guiding us. Because in the Bible, Jesus said, leave, leave the Pharisees because they are blind. How can the blind lead the blind? So if, if you if you find yourself in a church that's only preaching, oh, God is going to bless you. He's going to do this for you. He's going to do that for you. It's probably a sign that the person that's preaching the gospel to you is probably not living right. Our leaders are supposed to tell us the truth. The raw truth and nothing but the truth. Not always a, a tickle me Elmo gospel. You know, something that tickle you, make you feel good. And then you can go out the rest of the, um, your week. No wonder why people only open in their Bible on Sunday. No wonder why people is only, you know, they only um, seeking the Lord on Sundays. Oh, they have to wait for somebody to tell them to open their Bibles. And they wonder why their faith is not strong. We, we got to feed ourselves more than once a week. How can we get through the week without our food? Our spiritual food. Just as much as we, we are spiritual beings, just as much as we are physical beings, human beings. We need our spiritual food to sustain us as well. The Bible says when, when the devil tried to tempt um, Jesus, he said that it is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that comes out of the mouth of God. So we don't just live by when we eat food on this earth. We don't just live by when we eat um, or drink on this earth. We live also, we survive by the word of God. If we're not getting that word of God like consistently throughout the week, we start to be getting hungry. Don't you eat more than once a week regular when you eat food? Don't you eat more than once a week? Wouldn't you be weak if you only ate once a week? Okay, so is your spirit, man. The, the spirit that's on the inside of you, your soul, it needs food from God. If you don't have the food, that food, the, the, the word from the Bible or just word of encouragement from people that's anointed that you listen to throughout the week, then you, your spirit man becomes hungry and it's going to eat some type of way. So what you feed it with? You feed it with listening to Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki Minaj and all these types of people, you know, Migos and all that. You feeding it the wrong stuff and you wonder why you're struggling with your faith because you're not feeding yourself the right stuff we have to feed ourselves the right stuff I had to find this out the hard way every time that I tried to vote my life to Christ I will always end up falling away why because I was feeding myself with the wrong things I was watching the wrong things everything I watched was had witchcraft in it Everything I watched had cussing and cursing and fornication and all types of stuff in it. And I was wondering why I was struggling with those things because that's what I was feeding myself. So just be encouraged. Be encouraged, brothers and sisters in Christ. 
Hallelujah. We need Jesus. We need that that food. We can choose to get back up. We can choose to keep going. We don't have to fall away to sin. We don't have to be embarrassed because God already knows. He already knows. But he chose us for a reason. Even in our sin, he chose us for a reason. And we have to choose him. He chose us, so we have to choose him. We can choose. We can choose who we want to become. Just like the worldly people. People that don't believe in God. They tell you. You choose who you want to be. You can be whatever you want to be. So how much more God. Like we can't choose to be righteous. And live like he wants us to live. Yeah you might lose some friends. But friendship with the world. Is, enemy, is an enemy to God. So do you want to be God's enemy. Or do you want to be in his good graces. Because woe to the enemy of God. I'm telling you. People of God, today we don't fear God like we should. We don't fear God like we should. We fear a bee more than we fear God. Because if we fear God, we would think twice about sinning. We would think twice about doing things that he told us not to do. The one who can kill the body and the, and, and the soul. My God, my God. So... Be encouraged, my brothers and sisters. You're not alone. We all struggle with the same things. But we can do it. We can do it. We can definitely do it. So, encouragement time is over. I got to get back to work. So, be blessed. I love you guys. And thank you for tuning in. If you did tune in or if you got something from this, God bless you. And see you next time.